And literally all I have to do is go import base show 2019. And now this is the interesting part. This is the only manual step you will have to do. Log that in. And now you have a brand new show file with everything set up that you defined into your template show file. Hey gang, what's up? Jonas here. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create your own base template show file. Uh, this is really exciting because I found a really cool way of how you can create one show file and then with a single macro, with a single import, actually pull over all the stuff that you want to include in every new show file that you create. I just want to give you a quick update on my upcoming Lua Masterclass. So if we just take a look at my shooting list, you can tell here that the complete schedule is done for the course and um, I'm already in the middle of shooting it. That'll take uh, about a week or two um, to shoot and then um, another few days to record. So um, I'll have an update for you next week again, um, but this is in progress, this is coming very soon. And if you wanna be part of that, go ahead and uh, sign up in the video description at the link below. So today's video um, is really exciting because it really allows you to create a base show file. So a template show file where you can define everything that you want to take over into a new show. And as you know, often for bigger shows at least, uh, what you will get is a show file in advance with all the patch already included. And you can of course always extend one show file and uh, just PSR the new patch into it, but I think that gets really messy after a while. And as far as I know, it's also not good practice to always extend the same show file just because that gets really unstable over time. So I think what's way better and also for your history uh, is way cleaner to look up old shows. What you wanna do is always create a new show. But how do you get all of your old stuff into the new show? How do you get your setup uh, into your new shows? And for that, I wanna show you a really cool macro that I came up with. Um, by the way, the show file that I'm showing you today is ready for download. This is not my personal template show file, it's just the example template show file. And uh, that should be a good starting point for you to adapt the macros that I'm showing you today. All right, so let's get started. And I'm just going to show you how with a single command you can completely set up uh, your own environment in a new show file. And for that, we just wanna create a new show and then open up the command line feedback here and literally all I have to do is go import macro, wait, base show 2019. This is what I called it. You can call it whatever you like. At macro one, and then I'm just going to go ahead and execute that macro one directly. And you can already tell something's happening here. And now this is the interesting part. This is the only manual step you will have to do. You can see here that a user profile was included and so all you have to do now is set up a user with that user profile, um, log that in. And now you have a brand new show file with everything set up that you defined in your template show file. And you can see here, <clears throat> we have all of our macros. Uh, so this is, for example, a set of macros from a video I did a long time ago called Hacking Your Show File. Um, and then if we look over to this part, then we can see this actually includes the macros from last video about how to live manipulate your effects using effects slots. Now, one thing that's missing here though is the assignment of these effects to our executors over here. So let's actually go ahead and change that in the base show file. And I think that gives me a great opportunity to show you how I set up this base show file um, so that you can actually include all of the stuff that you want to have in a new show in just that one command. All right. So let's go back into the base show file that I created for this video. Again, this base show file is available to download in the video description. So go ahead and check that out. And then you can adapt it to your needs. All right. So the star of the show here are these two macros. And essentially what I do here 
is export the macro um, to include our stuff in a new show file. So this is the import macro, if you like. And then what I also do is actually export this user profile. And we'll take a look at that in a step two. So let's take a look at the import macro over here. So what it does is actually leave a session if it has an active session. So if you're connected to MA3D, what this first line will do is actually leave that session. And that's important because PSR partial show read only works if you're not in a session. All right. Next step, it's actually preparing this base show 2019. And it's really important because it's um, setting the use mine option, uh, which tells partial show read that we don't want to include any fixtures. We want to stick with whatever fixtures we have set up in this show file. So this is great, for example, if you get a patch uh, for a show, uh, because then this patch won't be overwritten. And that's the whole point of it, right? You don't want to override that patch. Instead, you want to take that show with a patch and include all of your own personal stuff in it. And as you can also tell, this show is called Base Show 2019. So whatever you call the show, this is what you want to include up here. So this is going to also be Jonas template or whatever else. Then this part down here is where the magic happens. So this, um, these lines, PSR something, something, PSR something, something, uh, always follows the same pattern. And this is essentially um, your way of importing all of this stuff. Um, that you need in the new show file from base show 2019. So you can see here that we are importing the macros, importing the effects, and then also importing the executors. And we'll have to double check why the hell that didn't work previously. So one thing that you will notice is that I'm only importing macro starting from macro three. So anything after menu user profiles. I think what's really important here is that I don't uh, include this export profile or this export macro because this export macro actually makes our import mechanism available. So this macro over here is available for importing all of our stuff from our base show file. That was the macro that we imported in the new show and executed. This stuff right here, if I press this, then it will overwrite or create our import macro. And I think it's really important that you only use this macro from within your template show file so that you don't get confused. You wanna have this one place where you define this whole import macro, and that's also where you can extend it and change it around and just include new stuff that you wanna have in all your show files. But this stuff should never be exported to another show just so you don't run the risk of actually getting all chaotic about this. All right, so now let's take a look at how I can actually also import our executor slots over here. So our uh, effects slots that are assigned to the executors. So if we go back to the macro and take a look at it, what it does down here is actually import, um, so partial show read, all the button executors that make up our live effects section over here. What I didn't do though is actually include all of these uh, executors. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So we're going to add a new line and now we're going to PSR executor. And in this case, it's actually executor 1.1 through 1.5. 1 1.1 through 1.5. And that's exactly how you extend this import macro to include other parts of your base show file. Let's save our base show file, our template show file, and let's create a new show and see if our changes work. Actually, wrong. What we wanna do first is export um, our, our setup macro. So this is our template macro, right? This will be imported in the new show file. So whenever you change this, what you wanna do in your base show file is hit this button. And now you can see all of these things are being overwritten and that's exactly what we want. So now we can go ahead and create a new show. Yeah, whatever. And now if we go ahead and go import base show 2019 at macro one and then 
directly run that. Now we should be able to see again, let's set up the user. Let's pick the imported show file. I mean the imported user profile. Let's log in and now let's take a look. Perfect. Now we have our slot assignments already. That's great. <laughs> you can see here that all of these effects are complaining that not even a single fixture is patched. So they can't, you know, play out these attribute types over here. Uh, but you can see it worked beautifully. And um, that's the beauty of this import macro. I gotta say, I'm, I'm pretty proud of that solution. So I'm really happy to share it with you. So let's go back into this base show file and I'll show you how you can set up the user profiles. Again, what this macro does, it just PSRs all of these show objects. But what it doesn't do is set up your windows in the way that you have set up over here. Now, what you wanna do and this will be a separate video in and of itself. But what you want to do is create this um, user profile and export it and give it a name that you then also use down here. So what we don't do here is the PSR. Instead, we import it at user profile to in the new show. And then you saw earlier how the user profile was already available in the list. Um, that we display with menu user profiles at the end of the process. And then you just have to select it and go ahead and use that. But that's the reason why this is also in this export statement. So just to recap, um, what you have to do or what you want to do is maybe first of all, download the template show file that I created in the video description. This is a good start maybe because it includes these two macros. So first of all, the one that you will always import um, by just going import base show at macro one and then execute that macro one in your new show. Um, again, this macro will leave the session to be able to run PSR um, with your show file, your template show file, whatever name that um, will have. And then it PSRs everything that you want to have in the new show. Lastly, it imports the user profile and then opens up the user profiles menu so you can set up that user. And again, this second macro is there to actually export this setup macro. Um, so whenever you, for example, have a new USB stick and you want to bring this template show file to a new venue, what you want to do is insert your USB stick into your console or your on PC station, then um, actually run this export command um, or rather, what you can also do is just store this base show file onto the USB stick and then on the USB stick, run the export statement so you can actually go ahead and run the import and setup macro um, from the new show. So that's template show files for you. I think this is a really elegant way of always extending this one show file and then just having to adapt this one macro uh, so you can bring all of that stuff into your new uh, shows with just a single command. And I think that's really elegant. And so I'm really proud of this solution. Um, I hope you like it. Again, the base show file that I showed you in this video is available for download in the video description. And if you really want to supercharge your show files with plugins, then go ahead and sign up for my upcoming master class um, in the video description as well. And that's what I wanted to show you this week. Um, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jonas. Go ahead, subscribe if you like, and I'll see you next week.